Okay, today we are going to show you how to compute and record the expected data. For this exercise, you can download the data from pubmed.org slash drtml slash spss sga-youtube.sav. Upon opening your data set, it will look like this. This data is about factors affecting SGA in one of the states in Peninsula Malaysia. So, what is SGA? SGA is short form for small for gestational age. In this example, we're going to show how SGA is affected by the mother's nutrition, the smoking habit of the father, and whether the mother is hypertensive or not. The dependent outcome, as stated earlier, is birth weight of the babies, whether it is uh, very low, therefore, therefore the babies were small for their gestation age. Since this study only takes those who have either full term or post date babies, therefore any weight less than 2.7 kg for term babies are considered as small for gestational age. So you can see here uh, for our SGA babies, their weight is around 2.6 kg and below. Our normal babies, their weight is above 2.7 kg. As for the risk factor here, or the independent risk factor, the example shown here is uh, how the mother's nutrition affects the baby's birth weight. As a proxy for the mother's nutrition, we shall use the mother's BMI. For the BMI, we will utilize the weight and the height of the mother to, to create the variable BMI. From the BMI, we will classify the BMI into classification of weight. So if you go by class weight, classification of weight, you have underweight, normal weight and overweight. To generate the body mass index, again as stated here, the formula is weight divided by the square of the height. Uh, the weight would be measured in kilogram, the height in meter. Our data, the, the height was measured in centimeter. Therefore, we need to convert it to become meter by dividing it with 100. As for the classification of weight, we are going to use the classification of less than 20 as underweight, 20 to 24.99 as normal, 25 and above as overweight. Okay, so this is our data set. As shown here, we have the weight and the height. The weight is in kilogram, the height is in centimeter. Uh, what we like to do, we like to convert the height uh, from centimeter into meter. So that we can generate the BMI. So to generate the BMI, you could click uh, transform compute variable. For the target variable, we shall type the word mother's BMI, MBMI. Type and label. Mother's body mass index. Okay, continue. So now we are going to create based on the formula. Remember, we have to convert the weight, uh, sorry, the height into from meet, centimeter to meter. So as for the weight, you can use the weight and frequency divided by the height. So the height here, you have to convert from We have to convert from centimeter to bigameter by dividing 100. Take note that this thing is a formula for. Okay. So this is a final formula. Okay. So if we zoom in, you can see the mother's BMI is basically the weight divided by the height okay, squared. Okay. So the height, the weight is in kilogram. The height is in meter. Once you click on OK, it will create the new variable, mother's body, body mass index. So you can see on the far right side, 
where is the variable mother's BMI? Okay, uh, for this data set, the maximum, uh, sorry, minimum is 10. The maximum, the maximum is 41. Okay, so we have created the variable BMI for use in our later exercises. Okay, so let's continue with the exercise for recode and transform. So now we're going to recode the data from the BMI to classification of weight. Okay. So to recode the data is very simple. Okay. So how are we going to recode? So we're going to classify under weight 0 to from 0 to 19.99, code as 1. For normal, we're going to select those who are, whose BMI is 20 to 24.99. It's decoded as 2. Then, those with a body weight of 25 to infinity, that one will be coded as 3. So, let us record the data. So, to record data, click the transform, record into different variables. Okay, first we're going to set the variable that we're going to transform, which is the body weight index. So, we translate it here. The new one is classification of weight. So, weight class. Okay, so the classification of weight. Quick change. All any values. Sorry, 19.99. Put the S1 at next is. 20 until 24.99 for the S2 3 25 and highest once you're done click continue ok click continue Click OK. okay. So now you already generated the new variable. So the new variable is okay. After the, we have run the final command to record and transform. So this is the the results. We have the weight classification as one, two, and three. So we should change the label. Just click on the weight class. Click on values, put one as underweight. Two as normal. Three as over. Okay, so now the data will look nice for you.